Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the five most common complications after total knee replacement surgery. The information contained in this video is intended to use for education purposes only and no other represents medical treatment or advice for your specific condition. Any need to sustain while performing exercises is solely the responsibility of the individual performing these exercises. Next, Paul Phil Ferry and his partner explain any and all liability from injuries sustained from performing exercises demonstrated in the video. As always, it is best to consult personally with your medical health provider or personal patient clients to address I'm Dr. Wong with Next Level Physical Therapy, and this channel is dedicated to helping people like you get out of pain naturally without medication, injections, or relying on unnecessary surgery. So the first complication that we're gonna talk about is infections. When you come out of knee replacement surgery, there are a few symptoms that might tell you that you might have an infection going on. Some symptoms of infection include fevers and chills, increasing redness and swelling around the knee joints, or increasing pain and smelly discharge from the incision site. The good thing about infections is that it typically is very rare. However, if you do test positive for infections, there are three main treatments that most surgeons will do to get rid of it. The methods include antibiotics, washing the joint out, or if those two methods don't work, the surgeon might have to go back in and do a revision replacement surgery. Antibiotics are primarily used when the infection is only on the skin surface and not deep within the actual joint. If the infection is deeper within the knee joint, they might need to open up the surgical sutures and wash the joint out. If after four to six weeks of washing the joint out, the infection continues, then the surgeon might have to go back in, take out the implant and do a revision replacement surgery. The next complication is knee implant failure. This is more uncommon than infections. Nevertheless, it can still happen, and sometimes the bone just doesn't heal properly around the implant. So in this case, the surgeon will have to open you up and take the implant out and replace it with a whole new implant. Most surgeons will have a follow-up six to eight weeks after your surgery where they'll take an x-ray to make sure the bone around the joint is healing correctly and that there is no defect. The third complication after total knee replacement is blood clots. Symptoms include increase in heat and excessive swelling around the knee joint and pain with squeezing the calf muscle on the same side that you had the surgery. The way your doctor would diagnose a blood clot is with a Doppler ultrasound. If you do test positive for a blood clot, the doctor might change your meds or recommend some compression stockings to help some of the blood circulate better. The fourth complication after total knee replacement is long-term knee stiffness. Now, when you come out of knee replacement surgery, it is normal to have stiffness in the beginning due to post-surgical pain and swelling. After six weeks, you should have at least nine degrees of knee bending or flexion. If you don't have the mobility at this point in time, your therapist should address either scar tissue or pain control. The fifth complication that many people suffer with after total knee replacement is persistent knee pain. This can be very frustrating as most of you guys got total knee replacement in the first place to get rid of the pain and just be more functional. Persistent knee pain can be caused by muscles and nerves around the new joint or even joints and muscles on the opposite side that's compensating because of the new knee that you currently have. Persistent knee pain can be caused by muscles and nerves around a new joint or even muscles and joints that are compensating because of the total knee replacement. The best way to find out the root cause of your persistent knee pain is to connect with a physical therapist to get assessed. That way you can find out if it's a muscle, nerve, joint, or compensation problem and what to do about it. If you have any questions, please comment below and my team will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you found these videos helpful, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on our weekly videos. As always, move better, age stronger, and I'll see you on the other side.